What is poppin' Spidey Collectors and welcome back to another Funko Pop concept list here on Carbonite Collecting, a branch of the Carbonite Combos podcast and YouTube channel. Tonight we are doing part two of the Spidey Con Funko Pop concept line created by Instagram creators Jay Bavart and Nathros Funko. So first and foremost, if you aren't following them on Instagram already, make sure to go throw them a follow because they did an incredible job at this line. Tonight's episode is The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Following the Sam Raimi trilogy last week and the MCU trilogy next week. And I am super excited to get into this, Alec. I don't know about you. Dude, if there's ever a day I answer that question and it's a no, I am not Alec. I am someone variant. else. Var- variant. Variant, baby. Yes, yes. sir. But so, yeah, man, I'm I'm ready to roll in some, some Spider-Man pops. We're talking about the amazing Spider-Man today, or TASM, as some of you may call it. Um, yes, sir. If you want to lead this thing off, man. I'm yeah, definitely. Roll. Definitely. And at the end of this video, if you like it, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe so you can check out all of our videos moving forward. But I am ready to go with pop number one, which is Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker. I think this is really cool because it looks exactly like him. We can see the skateboard in hand, the perfect hairstyle, and just an awesome pop to start off uh, part two. A hundred percent, man. This thing is money with the skateboard. We need more just Peter Parker pops in general. We got plenty of Spider Man, but we need some. We need some Peter Parker, man. Yep. Agreed. Speak of the devil. Moving on, we have the first look at the Amazing Spider Man with his yellow eyes. I think this pop is super neat in a leaping pose. Um, it's actually like where you see him for the first time, and it's a reflection of yeah. the glass. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I, I forgot to mention the first pop was made by Nathros Funkos, the second one by Jay Bavart, and this third one as well by Jay Bavart, we have Dr. Connors. Now, this is a really cool pop because we can see that he has his arm missing. If you check out the ID badge, you can see it's the actual Oscorp ID badge from the movie. It's just shrunk. Uh, so I think some really cool detail on this one. Yeah, man. Little details go a long way, especially in the Funko Pop game, man. That they but do. Next Next up, this one is Nathros Funkos. We have a, the first look at Gwen Stacy carrying her books when she's talking to Peter in the hallways. Yes, sir. Another awesome one. Uh, so finally, to wrap up The Amazing Spider-Man 1, before we get into 2, we have a look at a scene made by both creators of The Amazing Spider-Man versus The Lizard. This is in the hallway when they are fighting in the high school. Uh, so I like how he has uh, Lizard all webbed to the lockers. We have the chair in the background. So another really cool scene by these guys. Yeah, man. I think that wraps Tasm up really great. I think that does a good job of highlighting the movie. Lizard looks awesome. Yeah. But I'm ready to move into Tasm too. Yes, sir. All right, man. So leading this thing off, this isn't a Jay Bavart custom here. This is the second look at Gwen Stacy, obviously from the second movie. Yep, another cool one. And for his first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man, yeah. we have a look at Harry Osborn. Now, I think this is pretty cool. I think it's a, a I don't know why I keep talking about their hair, but we have an interesting hairdo with it kind of covering the the one half of his face. We have the glasses, the suit. So another really cool pop. This one made by Nathros Funkos. Yeah, man, I think they definitely need a Harry Osborn from the first trilogy as well. And who knows if we're going to get him in the MCU as well. So we'll see soon. Uh, But next up, we have the villain of the movie. We have Max Dillon. Dillon, villain, rhyme there. There we go. Yeah, man. But this is him pre-Electro. So before he falls into the pit of eels, as he says in No Way Home, got to be careful where you fall. True. True. I like how, um, you know, they... I don't know what's up with me, but they they got the hair on point. I think the yeah. hair for these pops, sometimes that's make or break. Uh, you know, you can tell he's thinning. He has the one, kind of like myself, but you have the one strand of hair uh, just coming over. You have the stash. You have his uh, his posters, his briefcase. So overall, another really cool pop. Um, to wrap up the individual pops, we have a pop made by Jay Bavart. And this is a look at the TASM 2 Green Goblin. So I think they did a really good job. Um, the detail on his face is incredible. The suit is awesome. The glider is great. So overall, um, you know, a really cool individual pop. I like how it has like the gray tone to it. It looks very dark. Um, 
absolutely crushed it, Jacob Art. Fantastic job there. And to end this list, we have the scene of this list. So this is actually Electro versus the Amazing Spider-Man. You can see he has his new suit from the second movie. Reminds me a lot of the Whiplash and Iron Man collector course scene. Very similar poses, very similar bases. Uh, but yeah, man, I think overall really cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I didn't even think of that. I'm looking at the pop right now. It looks exactly like it. Just a couple different characters. Um, but everybody, we really appreciate you tuning into part two of the SpideyCon Funko Pop Concepts. And next week, we will be doing part three, which is Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and the ever-popular Spider-Man No Way Home. Those are some can't-miss pops, so please join us next week. But until you come swinging back next week, like always, make sure to keep it popping.